let's backtrack to the ALCS first and charge the name out, powered by Tiza. The Houston Astros fall again at home to the Texas Rangers. Uh, the game was over in the first inning. 16 pitches. I mean, not technically because they won 5-4, but what, what are your keys to the postseason? Scoring first. <laughs> Is that your number one key? And have better starting pitching than the other team. Both of things happened for the Rangers the first two games. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they've scored first, and they've had better starters. So, I guess who's 2-0? Oh? Not the team that's bullpenning. Well, wow. the Astros aren't bullpenning. I, I, I understand that. But <laughs> they did yesterday because Fromber went, what, two and a third? No, not even. Two? 2.2. Two. two and two, two thirds? And two thirds. So he got he got five outs and six strikeouts. Wait, the what? first four yeah. batters. He got eight outs. Yeah, six got eight outs. strikeouts. Hmm. Six Ks. And there was a cartwheel, which was awesome that by Dolis cool Garcia. Dolis Garcia. Uh, he faced the first four batters that he faced all scored. Well, Never the first good. first also we, we talked about this on our post game thing yes last night. Uh, but I love the Rangers' approach. They were super ultra aggressive. Two pitches, two runners on. Two hits, Simeon and Seeger. And then Grossman hits that chopper we showed, and Fromberg zooted it down the line. Two errors on that play, dropped it, then threw it in the shitter. And then next thing you know, it's 4 nothing before they can even blink and took the crowd out of it, took everything out of it. Yeah, the Astros had a nice comeback. Jonah Heim here with the, the home run to give him the fifth run. But it just, it, when it was 4 nothing, it felt like it was like 10 to nothing. I don't know why. And then Evaldi pitched well, bases loaded, no outs, gets out of the jam, Kratzy, you know. Dusty shoots a shot with Diaz, Altuve, and Bregman. They don't score, and the game was over after that. How would you describe Framber's stuff? Because if you look in the first inning there, it wasn't super hard contact. He wasn't laying pitches middle-middle, but his stuff was still hittable. I think that's actually important for many fans. Can you explain the difference between you know stuff and location? Because those are two very different things, right? 100%. Stuff and location because, yes, they weren't hitting them hard, but they were elevating it. Now, you know, Nate Lowe had the ground ball through the hole there. When Framber's good, he's obviously down in the zone. He's getting a lot of ground balls. When he's not good, it may still be down. That sinker may still be down in the zone. And they actually, in the game, partway through the game, partway, you know, I think in the second inning, they said it was like one sinker that they really showed. It kind of started on the inner half. And kind of came back middle and sank a little bit. But when he's really good, that pitch is a ton of sink and it's late. Now his velocity, while it upticks, it looks great on the scoreboard when, or it looks great on the TV icon when everything, you know, flames are coming out of his pitch. To me, the way they're hitting those balls and the way they're laying off of his curveball in some situations, now he's still got his six punch outs. It just doesn't look like that pitch is really scaring them, that they can't elevate it. Before, when you see Framber and you see guys that are just swinging at it and hitting it, they're like, ah, how is that a ground ball? It's because it's that last late little movement, and he can get away with location. So location, yeah, oh, that ball was up. There's plenty of balls that are thrown up that don't get hit hard. To me, it's that last two feet of his stuff on that sinker, it makes his change up better and his curveball to me has just been inconsistent. So, you know, whether it's a strike or a ball, the times when he's had 12, 13 strikeouts this year, that pitch is landed for a strike, bounced for strike three. See you later. That's the key. You saw the first pitch of the game. Simeon hits a line drive to left, right? Mm -hmm. And Seeger, I know it's a blooper, but the ball was in the air. Yep. And then that, that's the key is the balls that are in the air. He, he, he doesn't give up a lot of balls in the air. He gives up a lot of ground balls. And when the balls are up in the air, we, and we've talked about it. We talked about it when I did the DS with him. Yes, the velocity's up, but so is the ball. And it's not the same amount. And I remember, uh, who was we talking to? I was talking to Dusty Baker about it. And Dusty said, Tommy John used to have like this metal ball that he would roll around and like try to make his arm tired between starts. Because he's like, I don't want my arm feeling good. I want it to be, because he threw <laughs> sinkers. So he wanted his arm to be tired. So he had like the steel ball. He said he'd just sit in the dugout all day long and just have this ball moving it all the time. Is that why he needed Tommy John? Maybe. 
That's awesome. <laughs> he, I never heard that story. Me neither. So he said, yeah. So he said he was just t- he wanted his arm to be tired. Like most sinker ballers, that's why you get them. Got to get them early because as they settled in, they get a little more tired and the ball starts moving more. They get more of a feel and they get a little bit tired. That's why they always said like sinker ballers don't want to give them extra rest because they you want them a little bit worn down. But what do I know? That's crazy. It's like I don't want to be fresh. So maybe a long layoff is not good for everyone. But the, that's like to me, that's the difference between what what AJ's talking about. There is the difference between analytics and the feel of the game. They're both the same thing. If an analytic person heard what you said and be like, "What? It's going to be tired? Is velocity down? Whatever." But then you take it from an analytics standpoint and you say, "Oh, well, wait a minute. If his spin is decreased on his sinker, what's that going to make the ball do? Move more." So they're talking about the same thing. Analytic people are putting numbers on the exact same thing that Tommy John's talking about with the with the heavy with the heavy steel ball, trying to get his arm more tired so that when it comes off of his fingers, that spin is decreased, making the ball sink more. Are the Astros done? No. No. They're down 2-0. They're heading to I don't care. Spooky Arlington. They have to take a three hour drive. Did you ever see a 2019 World Series kid? They did. They were seeing young, how many runs they it. scored. <laughs> Globe life. Yeah, um, there's a lot of sarcasm there. I, I don't. I mean, think in 2019, they lost the first two games of the Nats at home. Mm-hmm. Won the next three, mm-hmm. and then lost the next two at home. Is there any team that gives less of a fuck about going on the road at this point? No, because they've been through it all. That's With the trash can point. stuff and all the fans and the booing and the the way they've been treated. The Astros don't care, and they got their guy, man. I, I'll say it again. I said it when they when they played the Twins. They went down one. They were one one. Everyone's like, "Oh no, they're going to Minnesota. The atmosphere is going to be crazy." Christian Javier, whoop, nine punches, five five scoreless. Next day, Arcidi, whoop, six scoreless. Whatever it was, or he gave up one run. I think gave up a home run. But other than that, it was like these dudes don't care, man. They that's why they play better on the road because they just don't care. They're just so used to it. Oh no, and their, and their manager has their back too. Yeah, which that's makes true. you have a way less tight culo. I was just thinking, oh no, they're going to Minnesota and they're going to count down the pitch clock for them so they don't have to look <laughs> at it. <laughs> hey, we're going to help you out up here. And we're the Youpers and we're going to make sure that uh, old Christian Javier gets all the pitches <laughs> in in time because we don't want to see him taking that out of his bag. <laughs> uh, also, apparently, Jordan Alvarez was quite ill and. Um, he insisted on playing, so that worked out. So apparently, couldn't hold down food, mm. bad headaches, couldn't sleep. They were like, "Are you sure?" And he was like, "Yeah, I'm good." And then you know he homered twice, so he was fine. Monster, he's a monster. I mean, he, he had a, a bad game one, yes, and came back with a vengeance game two. The problem is the Astros hit solo homers. There was nobody on base. They couldn't get that. They couldn't get the one with the guys on base, and that's why. Again, the, Ast- the Astros are down 2-0 because of their lack of hitting with guys on base. I and mean, that's it. Base loaded, no outs. You got Diaz, Altuve, Bregman. You're thinking, man, we might not just score one. We might score four or five here and, and, and take the lead. And Evaldi gave them zero. Many managers would have taken out Nathan Evaldi, bottom of the fifth, bases loaded, no outs, period. Many. How many? Just quick, top of your head, out of 30, how many teams, I don't want to say manager, because most of, the, most of the time it's the team that's making a decision like this in this scenario. How many teams remove Nathan Evaldi at that point? 25. Because I, yeah. in my head I thought of four, and so I know I'm missing somebody. What are the four that wouldn't have? Texas and Houston are two. The only two I could think of off the top of my head. Gabe Kapler, wherever he manages next year. No, he would have taken him uh, out. Kidding. Just kidding. Uh, I'm like, I'm trying to think of the two people that I mean, people that wouldn't have taken him out right there. Council would not have taken out his I'm thinking I'm thinking apples to apples. He's got his horse, he's got his guy on the mound. Hmm. That's the guy he wants to go That's with. Three, yeah. I don't think um I don't think Topper would have taken Wheeler out, which we'll discuss later because he took him out with 81 pitches, but that's a this different a different discussion. And I don't think Snick, Snicker would Mm, Snicker, it depends on who it is. I'm saying apples to apples. Schneider, no, I, Schneider's on the mound. I don't think he's taking uh, him out there. 
Yeah. Mm, yeah. Four run lead. Mm-mm. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Those are probably the four that. I, yeah. Well, I'm sorry, what all, three, what, three run lead at that point. What what, what all what do those four guys all have in common? They don't listen to their. Well, no, they offices. listen, but they are all veteran guys. They all trust their players. They all love starting pitching. They trust their jobs too, or at least they don't care if they lose them. Also, another great point, Dusty. This probably is Dusty's last year. I don't know that for a fact, but there's been hints at it, right? Mm-hmm. Everyone thought it was going to be last year, and he was, but he came back for one he's more. He's like, year. "Screw this, fun! I won." Yeah, he's like, "I won. Oh shit, let's this try this again." Pretty good. Let's do it again. Ochi's not going anywhere. No, right? Topper's not going anywhere. At the two runs he's had, <clears throat> Craig Council's. I mean, well, that's a whole different story. But that's what, what he wants to do, yeah, yeah, exactly. And then Snicker, he's not going anywhere. I mean, people love him. I played for him. He's great. I mean, he won a World Series, first one in forever. I feel like you're you're leaving some managers out. Like, what about Dave what? Roberts? No, 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 not Dave Roberts. Gabe Kapler? It was this was Kevin the- Cash, Bud Black. <laughs> stop. It. First of all, stop. <laughs> Just Bud stop. Bring up, don't do that. Bring up one, don't do that to of- Bud Black. Yeah. Why? AJ you- Hinch. Just bring up managers of teams that aren't. What about they would have all brought him out. Yeah. They would all had him out. I know. I mean, all the we know the Blue Jays would have. Brios didn't even give it up a hit, and he he gone. AJ oh. AJ AJ Hinch would be a fringe guy for me. I no, think Hinch, he would Hinch, Hinch in the playoffs. No, he's he's gone that way before. He's done okay. it before. For okay, me, but, watching him with the Astros, he's taken the guys out before. But you can't. But you can't. You can't fault a guy for taking. Like he had given up the home run to Bregman the inning before, and now it's bases loaded. I think, I think a lot of managers are thinking about taking them out. Yeah, I'm sure so Bochy thought about it. Boach gets a ton of credit for not taking them out, and now it builds on that. Like other starters see that, other pitchers see that. Oh, he's got my back. He's not going to bail me out of this. I got to bail myself out. How about uh, in the DS with Dusty? Uh, who was it? Urquidy got in trouble, or was it Javier? One of them. No, Urquidy gave up the home run to. To Julian, the opposite field homer. Yeah, but then, but then there was another opportunity where it was like second and third or something, one out, and they were it was like close game and like the fourth fourth inning or fifth inning, whatever it was. And there that was, was an Javier. Oppor- was it Javier? And yeah. there was an opportunity, and and Dusty's like, nope, and he went poop punchy punchy or whatever it was, and got out of it. And ne- you know, next thing you know, he gives him a great start, and Arquita the next day, a great start. Just be- because these these. I hate to say this because it sounds so get off my lawn, but these older managers that believe in their starting pitchers, it's how you win. Uh, it, it just – it is. And I know we're not developing starting pitchers the way that we used to, but there's something to be said for your starting pitcher being able to give you six innings. Look at the numbers this postseason. It's crazy the the, the how much better you are if your starter gives you six innings. How can we can't go back to that? Makes your bullpen better too, and that's the key also for the Rangers. I would say the most surprising part of the Rangers this postseason has been their bullpen because it was bad during the year. High four ZRA, more blown saves than saves, more blown saves than saves. They're two wins from the, the World Series. That's the only team to ever make it to the postseason with that mark. Two wins away from the World Series. Yeah, well, you shorten up your bullpen. They've been Have really they been good, tested? and they don't overextend it. Have they been tested yet? Yes. Last the night bull- they were tested. The bull- yeah. Last night yes. they were tested. They were, they were tested, tested in Baltimore. Night. Jose LeClerc, four out save. Jose LeClerc closed out every in. game, all seven games for that. That's what I mean. Have three. they been tested, though? Yes. I get it. I get it. He had to get four outs. Jose LeClerc was tested. It's easy if you keep going to the three guys. I want to see what happens when they can't go to the three guys, when, they're, when their starters don't give them length. They because did in Baltimore. In Baltimore, they did it. They used which, all those guys. Which game? The game that they used. Uh, game they two, used game Spores. One? They used Burke. The they lefty. Used Chapman. Yeah. Bradford gave him length. What was the score of the game? You just said you wanted to see a game where they used those guys. They no, I said them. tested. It, I want to see. It was tested. a lot to a little, and it got a little closer. It was late. like 11-8 or something, wasn't it? A lot yeah, to but a it was 11. It was like late. it was like 9-1 when Correct. they brought Bradford in. That's Maybe what the playoffs are about. Tested. If you have great, again, if you have great starting pitching, well, but I want to see the bullpen get tested. To me, if I'm the Astros, I got to figure out a way. And I know this goes against what we said about being aggressive. Get those guys out of the game. You got to be able to work counts, and they haven't been able to get those starters. One, they can't get to them. Besides Jordan and Bregman, 
they can't get to those guys. So you got to build their pitch count up. To me, if you can get that pitch count, if you can get that starter out in the fifth inning, because Bochy's not just going to pull them because there's a cool matchup. You got to be able to work that pitch count to drain them to be able to get into that fifth, sixth inning of their bullpen. Well, the next two starters, Gray and Scherzer, nobody knows if they're hurt or not. Well, how many pitches can they really give them? There's your chance. So well, that's what I mean. This is this is huge. My Test key, if, if Kyle Tucker looks anything like he did during the regular season, Altuve hasn't they'll been good. come back. Altuve hasn't been good the first two games either. No, true. But Kyle Tucker hasn't done anything the whole postseason. He'll be the first person to say that. He said it after this one. If he does stuff, it's a completely different looking offense. In my mind.